The apes of Simeon gather in their ancestral tree to welcome the birth of two sons to the king of apes. In an old tree somewhere in the savannah desert, King Simeon rules over dozens of apes. Vladimir the king's faithful advisor lets the king know there is a problem, apparently, the queen gave birth to two sons rather than one. The first monkey prince is tiny and frail, but the second monkey appears to be strong and healthy. Because the tiny monkey was the first to emerge, he is the king's direct heir. The monkey which arrives and tells the king that the tiny price is a bad omen. That she says he is a mistake by nature and the apes will never accept him as their prince. The king yields and hands the baby to Vladimir to take away with the monkey while the queen sleeps. When the queen awakens, she searches for her babies and makes the king promise to take care of them, she then dies. King Simeon introduces the crown prince Vanya, a strong and healthy monkey, to the kingdom's apes. Vladimir transports the weak monkey to a cliff in order to throw it into the wolf's mouth. The child clings to Vladimir's hands, causing him to have a brief change of heart, However Vladimir's allegiance lies with the king so he throws the monkey and walks away meanwhile the weak monkey didn't fall directly into the mouth of the wolf but was hanging on a vine, finally, the wolf snaps the baby off the vine and bites one of its hands. Before the wolf can do total damage to the baby a proboscis monkey saves it because the baby is unable to walk like an ape due to the wolf's bite on its right arm, its savior, Ian, allows him to ride on his back. The weak monkey is now an adult ape named Edward he still rides on Ian's back because one arm no longer works and the arm remains in his loincloth all through the movie they are good friends who get along well by bickering and watching out for each other, and they leave far away from the other apes. Ian has a speech problem, so he can't communicate effectively. Edward is looking for some figs that he kept in a hole covered by leaves in their little shed. He asks Ian for them, but the ape claims ignorance and an argument ensues, Edward discovers a mouse and realizes that the mouse ate his food. He begins to pursue it but is unable to catch it with one arm. He discovers the tree sap and intends to use it as a mouse trap, but horn sounds distract him. The horn signals the start of Coco Ball, a sport that Ian and Edward enjoy. Ian is hesitant to participate because the two are frequently discriminated against by the other apes, Edward persuades him to accompany him, and they settle in a tree to watch the games. The apes hanging from vines toss the ball around aiming for a goal shot into the mouth of a skull and the fruit is a coconut ball, Vanya is the first to score, and the crowd applauds her. Another match begins but gets interrupted when Ian tries to catch the ball but ends up falling headlong with it and throwing off the plates from their vines in the process the ball bounces off and falls into a hole the pirates are enraged and surround Ian to beat him up. But Edward acts quickly. He extracts the ball using tree sap. The odd primates gather around Edward asking how he did the magic but Vanya shows up and takes the ball from Edward, Vanya tries to throw the ball, but his hand becomes entangled in the tree sap. The other primates try to get him off it but they also get stuck the term, responsibility, refers to the act of determining whether or not a person is responsible for his or her own actions. The king wants to find out who is responsible, but he is thrown around by Vladimir and his cousin Serge. Verify that she threatens him and dispatches him to find a solution. Vanya, however, overhears their conversation and confronts his father about the possibility of another ape assuming the throne from him. King Simeon has promised to take action. Edward and Ian are arguing about the White Mountains in their nest, Ian has recurring nightmares about Sergei and Marcel appearing on the king's orders. They tell Edward that he has been summoned by the king in the king's presence Edward is accused of practicing magic Edward explains once more that it is not magic but a few tricks he discovered and proceeds to demonstrate some of those tricks to the king. He makes a crown out of leaves and a mirror out of water poured into a leaf. The king can see his reflection for the first time and is awed by his facial features. Edward swings for the king and continues to converse with him. They are suddenly attacked by a swarm of insects summoned by the witch King Simeon is thrown off the swing and Edward is accused of attempted murder by the witch jumping from Vanya claims he attempted to murder him, but King Simeon accuses Vanya of murdering another Simeon. When Edward awakens, he discovers that he has been thrown from the tree. He leaves Ian and wanders into the desert, 
where he sees two giant ostriches and tries to grab a bunch of grapes dangling from one of the ostriches' mouths. In the process, he learns to stand on two feet like them. When a pack of wolves appears, the trio is forced to flee. Edward first runs backwards but notices the way the ostriches run he starts running forward and is happy that he can now move fast and his one arm will no longer be a hindrance to him. The other monkeys see him running and cheer him on the trio run into a field filled with rhinos and make it past them until the rhinos see the wolves coming and start running Edward is now fleeing the rhinos and wolves, seeing how those rhinos are about to crush Edward. King Simeon jumps in and tries to save him, he fights off some of them, but when he sees Edward about to be crushed, he leaps in front of him. Vania comes close to them with a vine to help Simeon back up as the chaos dies down and King Simeon is badly injured from the fight. Before dying, King Simeon informs Edward that he is his father. Vania takes Simeon's body away and tells Edward not to even consider themselves brothers Vania is crowned king, and he dismisses Vladimir for failing to fulfill his duty to get rid of Edward. Sergei takes over Vladimir's work, and the time comes for Vania to choose a bride, instead of taking a wife, Vania declares that all apes will be at his disposal and that he will have complete control over them. A storm starts and Vladimir is rejected by all the apes the storm becomes violent and a tornado appears Edward discovers Lucy in the tornado and falls in love with her he chases after her and they become friends Edward teaches her to stand on two feet and they discover fire from a volcano Edward. Ecstatic, returns a piece of the fire to the apes and talks about it. They do not welcome him and stone him on Vania's orders. Disappointed, Edward departs with Lucy, chasing a wolf away from its den with fire and settling into the cave with Lucy. The other apes observe Lucy and Edward as they learn to catch and kill rabbits and other small animals with fruit. Edward has also learned to control the wolf the apes leave Vania and the ancestral tree when they can no longer bear the hunger the witch summons the tree spirit to frighten the apes, but a young ape is unconcerned. Diego decides to follow the sound, and they discover that the tree's spirit does not exist that IT has all been the witch she tries to eliminate him but he is saved and reveals the truth the apes exit the tree and make their way to Edward and Lucy's cave. Gisela, a female ape who has always admired Vania, decides to remain. After what they did to her and Edward, Lucy does not welcome the apes. The apes talk to Edward and make him intercede on their behalf. They promise to only eat and go, so Lucy lets them in. Vania and Gazella watch with sad faces as they have a party in the cave that night. They have been watching for months. As the apes build themselves a new village, Lucy and Edward are married and expecting a son. They decide to name the child after Edward's friend Ian. Meanwhile, the witch plots vengeance on the apes for abandoning the ancestral tree, and Lucy stays at home while Edward assists the rest of the village with construction work. All of the apes, like Edward, can now walk on two legs. They can now hunt for their own food, and Diego can draw realistic images. Sergei and new primates looking for shelter have a disagreement, Sergei declares that there is no shelter and exiles them. Edward tries to pacify them but while he does that a locust invades the village and destroys everything they've been working on Sergei and the apes are convinced that the witch is responsible for the mess so they go after her Lucy orders Edward to save Vania before the mob arrives at the tree. Edward calls out to Vania, but she does not respond. The mob arrives at the tree, and Vania emerges from hiding. The apes promise to let him go if he gives them the tree, but if they leave on their own. He promises to let them go alive, Gazella tries to defend the king but Sergei orders the apes to beat Vania. Vania fights back, but he is outmatched. Sergei orders the apes to cut open the tree and set it on fire, and Edward saves Gazella before the tree blows up. However, he is trapped under a burning branch. He calls out to Vania, who obliges and assists Edward. The two flee before the trees explode, but the witch remains in the tree and dies with it. When they come around, the entire area fills with smoke. The tree has been completely burned, and there is nothing left for the apes to eat. The term, electronic commerce, refers to the sale of electronic goods, Sergei attempts to instill fear among the apes, but Edward, with Vania's assistance, calls the apes to order.
He tells them that there is hope for them and discusses the world beyond the White Mountains. The apes follow the birds to the White Mountains and they discover a world filled with green trees water and huge mountain. The apes are ecstatic. And Edward runs into Ian again. Lucy smiles as she watches her two friends dance around. For more videos, do not forget to like and subscribe and press the bell icon.